coming up, we got some release dates for some animated favorites, plus a Hulu on Disney Plus launch party and much more. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. Hi, it's Roger here from what's on at DisneyPlus.com. It's time for a quick Disney Plus news roundup. Let's start off with talking about the return of some classic animated series, which have been a huge hit. Um, so these are gonna be coming to Hulu and Hulu on Disney Plus in the United States and on Disney Plus internationally. Now with the release dates that we have got, uh, just for the US, though I suspect they'll also be very similar uh, for us internationally though. It, as I said, these kind of release dates are always a little bit hit and miss. So let's start off with talking about Solar Opposites, which is returning on August the 12th, 2024. So this again will be um, on Hulu and Hulu on Disney Plus in the US, Disney Plus internationally, coming with 12 episodes. And it's going to be all about how the alien mission partners, Terry and Koval, are now married. And the whole Solar Opposites team are focused on family values. So if you've enjoyed Solar Opposites, good news that it's coming in. Um, I wouldn't be too surprised if the international release date is a little bit different. We've seen it in the past with this show. They seem to be trying out different release schedules, but at least we know that that fifth season is coming. I really enjoyed the show. I think it's great, but let us know. You're excited about more Solar Opposites? Let us know in the comments below. We've also got the 12th season of Futurama, which is going to be returning on July the 29th with one new episode being released each and every week. So if you're a big fan of Futurama, good news to see this one coming coming back again nicely the the weekly release i think that works best for these kind of shows rather than the binge model but um yeah more futurama is definitely a good thing we're also on july the 15th getting the second season of hit monkey there's gonna be 10 episodes in this series so this is a follow-on to the marvel animated show I thought, to be honest, that it was going to be done and dusted and it wouldn't be returning. But it looked like it was such a hit, they've kind of came back and done a second season. It's taken a while to do so. It's not interconnected with the rest of Marvel or anything like that. In fact, they didn't even mention Marvel in the press release or anything like that. Very much kind of keeping it separate. But if you're a big fan of the first season of Hitmonkey, good news, we've got the second one. Again, international date might vary because we saw that with the first season as well. It didn't all happen. But good news that it's coming. So that's three big animated shows coming to our screens over the summer. But which one are you most excited for? Love to hear your thoughts on that in the comments below. Moving on from there, let's now talk about a brand new Disney Plus original documentary called Jim Henson Idea Man. So this one um, is going to be coming out this coming summer on a Disney Plus original around the world. It was initially announced back in 2022 and it's going to be directed by Ron Howard and it's looking at Jim Henson who is behind creating the characters from Sesame Street, The Muppets, Fraggle Rock etc. But we've got a little bit more information on this brand new documentary because of a re-release of a book that was released back in 2012 called Jim Henson's Imagination Illustrated. So there's going to be a new version coming out at the end of August and on the cover we can see that it actually says that the uh, documentary is already out, which obviously indicates that this documentary is going to be out before the end of August. And also there's going to be a foreword by Ron Howard, who's directing the documentary. So this um, book really kind of gives us an indication of the release window. So, I mean, this could be, you know, May, June, July, August. It could be any time in that period. Um, but the fact that the book's out in August, I wouldn't be at all surprised if that's roughly when we're going to see it. But learning more about the Muppet creator and stuff like that, I think this is going to be very interesting. But yeah, it's nice to kind of have a little bit of an update on this documentary. But are you excited about a documentary about the Muppets creator? Love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments below. This past weekend, Disney held a major event in Los Angeles for the launch of Hulu on Disney Plus. Um, obviously, they couldn't do it the week before because it was Easter and obviously celebrities and stuff so wouldn't want them to go into it. So they had a big event launch party with kind of the who's who of Disney Plus and Hulu. And I mean, literally, the people that were there, there was a lot of shows and stuff being represented. You had the Bear, Loki, Percy Jackson, Abbott Elementary, just uh, just a who's who, just so many pictures and stuff from this event. Um, interesting to see. It was kind of like a cocktail party and you had all, just the when I was looking for the pictures, like, yeah, okay, they've got some, they've got some people here. There's a lot of people. Kevin Feige was there, a lot of people from Marvel, people from Shogun. Yeah, just it's definitely a big, big event. You had all the big earwigs. You also had all the big chiefs from Disney as well, Dana Walden, Bob Iger, they were all there. Um, yeah, and it was kind of interesting to see how this is kind of building up because we were definitely in that kind of launch zone of Hulu on Disney Plus. We're still in that. We haven't. I don't think we've really seen how things are going to start working with new promotions, new advertising, etc. But nice to see this launch party taking place. Again, it seemed a little bit weird taking place almost a week after, but I think, again, that was just because of the Easter weekend. But yeah, so nice just to see Disney put on this big, lush little event. Yeah, that would have been certainly an event to go to because, like, it was 
just the top of Disney Plus and Hulu people there. It looked look, look really good. But yeah, as you can see, just nice to see Disney kind of ramping up the launch of Hulu on Disney Plus. I think we're really going to start seeing more of that as we move forward. But let us know what you think of Hulu on Disney Plus so far. Let's now talk about what's new on Disney Plus today. Big new release around the world was a brand new episode of Vanderpump Villa. So if you're into that show, new episode to watch. Also in the United States, um, through Hulu on Disney Plus, you get some new episodes of many animated shows including Simpsons, The Great North. But the big new thing that's on there today is there's going to be a special live presentation later on um, for the Eclipse. So it's being all on all the different platforms. So if you're on the East Coast, you're going to be able to um, look at and watch it. But obviously, well, you know, if you just want to, you know, it's not really safe to look straight at it. So this is a good way of doing it. Obviously, you need, like, special glasses and stuff. Yeah, so do not look at an Eclipse. Um, I remember when we had one here in the UK probably about 20 years ago so definitely interesting I see this one going on there and just Disney using all of their platforms with this new special so yeah so a little bit different to watch but especially maybe if you're on the east coast and you want to see what all the fuss is about you might want to check out that live stream but let us know you're going to be checking this one out love to hear your thoughts on that in the comments below and our question of the day which comes from Aisha who says so if I share my sister's account would I be forced to get my own account because if that's the case I'm just going to switch to physical media in my case it's more convenient and I don't have to worry about little kids scratching them or anything like that since my family is all adults by now. I think there's a couple of caveats here. So first off, if your sister is living in the same house as you do, you're fine. You don't have to worry about it. It's if your sister, if you live in the same household as someone, you don't have to worry. But obviously, this is all in reference to the crackdown that's going to be happening at this coming summer, leading into the full kind of launch of the in September. We're going to be cracking down on how people are sharing their accounts. Especially, and the main thing here really is if you are sharing your account with somebody outside of your house. So if your sister lives in a completely different house, in a different city, in a different state, or maybe even a different country, yeah, then you are probably going to get prompted at some point that they're going to want you to get your own account. Now, I've seen quite a few people talking uh, about, oh, I'm not going to pay anymore, I'm just going to go back to physical media. And I'm a little bit like, Okay, I mean, if I think if you enjoy collecting physical media and you like collecting physical media, you 100% enjoy it and do what you want, collect what you like. I had someone that used to have thousands of discs and thousands of VHS. Um, I completely understand the law and the, the wanting of holding on to those discs and how it means so much to you. I used to have just cases and cases full of discs. So I, I get it. But I dumped all of them. Or I've got, I've got like one box left under the stairs from that's literally all my Disney and Star Wars stuff that I, and they haven't been touched since I moved in five years ago. That's how. That's what it's like now. Of I think it, for me it was personally of I moved in my parents um, in law's house for a couple of years while we saved to buy a house, and everything was in storage. And then when I kind of was leaving storage, it was like. I haven't ha used these discs in over two years, and so and yeah, that was at that point where I had that like eureka moment of getting rid of a lot of stuff. Um, I don't have a lot of physical media anymore. Got rid of pretty much all my CDs because I don't think I've even, if, other than using a PlayStation, I haven't got a, a CD player. Um, you know, got rid of most of my video games because uh, you know they just aren't compatible anymore, or mo half the time there's nothing on them, and you got to download them anyway. But I fully embrace digital and I think most people have and especially I think with Disney Plus is it's easier. I think there are some issues with physical media. Um, for example, if you want to watch Echo, you can't. If you want to watch, um, you know, the the latest season of Star Wars, The Bad Batch or X-Men 97, they aren't out on physical media. You're going to, you they might never come out. They, I mean, we're starting to see them putting out some of the Star Wars and Marvel stuff. But not everything is out on physical media. So I think it's going to come down again of what type of stuff you use and what kind of stuff you watch. You know, like for me, you know, with watching Shogun and Grey's Anatomy and you know, Sandland series and X-Men. Well, I can't do any of that on physical media. That's just something you just can't even do. And I think that's the thing. Is it depends on how much stuff you want to subscribe to. And everyone has different platforms that they like, which ones they don't like. Um... You know, I'm not subscribed to every streaming platform and I don't think it's a good idea if you are because I don't think you can watch everything. But ultimately, it's, that is going to be the thing. A lot of it is out of convenience and that's the thing with the password sharing is that it, some people are going to be like, it's not for me and there's going to be other places where, like, oh, I'll get it because it's, you know, 
4.99 a month and I can get it with ads and that's the way that they want you to go because that's really what they want but yeah if you if you don't live with your sister then yeah you, you might you have to at some point by the end of the year might have to get your own account and if you want to continue just buying physical media I would say the idea of physical media being cheaper I definitely disagree with that because ultimately if you buy one you know if you wanted to buy let's say Wish Wish came out this past week um so yes if you want to buy Wish and that's all you're going to buy this month 15 20 quid and that's it that's literally Disney Plus and Netflix and maybe Paramount Plus all in that one disc that you could have had instead and you know if you bought to buy you know if you brought poor things and if you bought all your strangers and you bought next go wins suddenly you're getting into a little bit more pricey greatest hits is out this coming week you can't buy that on physical media this is where the the problem comes in i think of i think buying physical media if you enjoy it and you like it and you want to have that kind of thing 100% agree with the fact of you you know if you want to spend your money on it it's your choice you can do what you like with it and i understand the desire of wanting to have that physical media but I don't think of physical media as a replace. It's, it's not so much just a replacement for streaming. Streaming is got a lot of advantages over it. Also, it doesn't take up a lot of space. Doesn't. I don't think it costs anywhere near as much money. I, I spend a lot less on physical media. Um, I would be buying. You know, if I bought one disc a month, I, I wouldn't even one disc. I'll be. Let's be honest. I was buying one, at least one disc a week. Sometimes multiple discs a week. Um, and when I was a student 20 plus years ago, I was spending all my money on VHS tapes. So, you know, that was pretty much, I got paid and I would go straight to Blockbuster and buy more movies. I love collecting movies, so I totally get that. But convenient side of things for me now, streaming is better and also um, it is cheaper. But that's ultimately your choice. But let us know. Do you agree with this? Do you not? I'd love to hear your thoughts on all this in the comments below. I'm going to go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. Like, follow and subscribe and I shall see you guys soon. Laters.